Alright guys, I'm back and I want to apologize for not uploading any lately. I've just been very busy and mostly lazy, but uh, <laughs> you know, this is the way things is. I, I haven't really been motivated to make any videos, but now I'm motivated. I'm going to make this video, I'm going to make another video, and then hopefully I will be catching some fish here in the next few hours. But today I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite shad spawn lures now the shad spawn it happens after the bass have already spawn and that's what they're doing now there you are there's some bass still on bed there's i'm not sure if there's any more pre-spawners in my area but most of them are on beds or coming off beds and uh, we're actually starting to find some deep fish so uh and it's april that's crazy it's the end of april and we're starting to find some deep fish uh the shad spawn is going on or it was going on i don't know exactly what happened to them i only saw them spawning for like two days and that was it and that when we had a, a huge amount of rain i think we had seven to eight inches of rain in the matter of two days and it flooded the lakes so we've been dealing with flooded water conditions and i have been trying to film some videos but it's mainly been like raining and just awful conditions to film you can't hear because the wind's blowing or it's raining or something like that but the shad spawn is happening right now and it's probably already happened for you guys down in florida and texas all you more southern guys than i am and it's going to happen soon for you northern guys so i'm going to give you guys some of my favorite baits during the shad spawn and I have three of them rigged up right now, but one of them right here is just a fluke. You know, a weightless, you know, soft plastic jerk bait. You put this on EWG, throw it on a spinning tackle, and uh, you know, you just cast out there and twitch like you do a jerk bait. And the bass love this. You also feel the shads uh, hitting up against it because that's how they spawn. I, I, I'm pretty sure you'll feel them hit up against it. But uh, if you, those of you that don't know what the shad spawn is, it's basically when the shad, you know, it's their time of year, just like how the bass that you know have a certain time of year. It's usually after the bass have spawned, you know, water temperatures in the low 70s, and they, they'll find anything hard, like whether it be floating docks, any kind of docks, lay downs, rock, sea walls. They'll they'll go up against, and you'll see, you'll know it when you see it. They'll be flickering on top of water. You'll see bass chasing them, striper chasing them, and uh, you know that's just the way it is. The second one I have for you guys is a little uh, swim bait. Now this is like a three and a quarter inch swim bait. I don't know what it is exactly. But I got it on a quarter ounce head. You can also do this in the line through method that I made a video on. You guys can check that out right up there in the top left hand corner of the screen. But it, the line through method, it there is hardly, it, it's better hookup ratio compared to the one single hook where you use a treble hook instead of this one single hook. The next method I have for you guys is my favorite way to fish in general. It is a topwater lure. And right here I have a Strike King Sexy Dog Junior. It's a smaller version. And uh, any, anything shad pattern is what you want to use in all these baits I'm going to be showing you guys. Anything shad pattern, because that's what the bass are eating, or the shad, and close to the shad size. Now, I don't really like throwing treble hooks that much because the shad, they'll bust up against it, hit this thing, and you'll catch shad more than you will bass or stripe or whatever it is that you're targeting. Now, my favorite lure during the shad spawn is a spinner bait. And the reason I'm throwing this kind of spinner bait is because the water... I'm making a video right now, so... Oh, you're fine. Alright. Oh, you bye. What was I saying? I don't even remember what I was saying. That's my favorite bait during the shad spawn because, you know, it's uh, it mimics shad. It's weedless. You can throw it up against dock posts in those brush piles where those shad will be spawning. And I feel like it catches more bigger fish than compared to the top water or the swim bait or the fluke. And, you know, that it's just a big fish bait in my opinion. That's all I have for you guys. There's plenty more things you can use during the shad spawn. Anything that imitates shad, but those are my favorite ways to catch them, and I feel like it's the easiest way to catch them during the shad spawn. Uh, you just want to mimic the shad, you know, find whatever whatever size they are, whether they be two and a half, three, or four inch long shad. Uh, mimic the color very well. You can never go wrong with a, with a white color or a natural shad color. Uh, and just look for hard places like dock posts, floating docks, rocks, seawalls, stuff of that nature. But I hope this video helped you guys out. These little tips, what lures I use during the shad spawn. 
And uh, that's really all I have for you guys. Uh, follow me on all my social media. It's all at Bass Bullies TV. If you haven't already, uh, subscribe. Like the video if you liked it. And until next time, catch them big. Happy birthday.